older than Jane Withers, is that correct? Oh, yeah. yeah. Janie was six years old when I was at Lawler's. I went to professional school. You went to Lawler's? I went to Lawler's. And Janie, that's where I met Jane, that's where I met Judy and Mickey and all of them. And Could you talk a little Chandler. bit about Ma Lawler and meeting Judy and all that? That was when I first realized that other kids had very bad childhoods, too, far worse than mine. And that uh, I never thought that I, you know, I, I could see that all these children were tied to taking care of their ch parents. And, uh, and that that was sometimes the biggest step in their lives. And all the parents who had never been in the films before thought it was a wonderful milestone in their life. Did, and you, know I knew, did you know Judy's mom? I, I knew Judy and her mother, yes, and her sisters. And Judy, <laughs> Her whole family thought that she was going to be, when she got the chance at MGM, it was going to be the most glorious step forward in her lives. And it ended up, it was the beginning of the end of the whole family. And I could see it happening before me, because Judy told me, you know, she said, my mother used to have our own theater, and my mother played the piano for your comedies. She wanted Judy to be a star, and I said, oh, oh God. Isn't that interesting? And it had not, it had not happened yet. But Judy said her mother still got her eye on that. And I said, well, I don't want to wish you bad luck. You know, I wish you luck. So and it was Baby Peggy that got the... It was Baby Peggy that her mother was... was the, all of these people were modeling their children. And chronologically, that, that works out perfect. Judy was born in 1922. Yeah. It works out perfect. It's exactly... The timing is exactly mm -hmm. right. And the same way with the, uh, um, so many of the other children, they all were aiming to do what I had done because I was a million-dollar baby, you know. And they all thought that they would. What so, did you learn at Lawler's? What did I learn at Lawler's? I learned it only lasted from eight in the morning until noon, and that I didn't have to get D's for everything because, in in public school, if you if you had to work in a movie and work for four or five days or a week, you got deep. What do you call it? Deep demoted. Yeah. You lost your your good grades. I was getting A's, and I only got F's because I was always working. So if, at, uh, um, at Lawler School, you kept your grades. You Were didn't you tired lose them. all the time? No, everybody else was. But you weren't? Well, no, because I only worked, if I didn't move, work in the movies, if I didn't have an extra job or something, I was just going to school at 8 in the morning and 12, and then I went home and I wrote. I and I was, I was my own editor, and I read ferociously, I read constantly, I read so much that I used to miss the bus. I was, it would come and I would even see it well, go it's, by. It seems like your passion for literature and writing it is what was. saved you. That's what it saved did. you. It did. It saved me. Yeah. I never had any real aspiration, ever. My husband once said to me, he said, you know, you were like somebody who was inoculated with a vaccine and never could catch fame. And that's true. I that's couldn't catch it. Now, did you, so, did you socialize with Judy and Mickey? Did you socialize no. with them when you were teenagers? None of us socialized. There was a, the only thing we knew how to do was work, really. And when we went to a party, I think I remember one party I went to with all of them. Yes. And all of us said, we all sat around looking at each other, and finally Mickey or somebody would say, well, why don't we put on a show? And it's, everybody got into, okay, we, you do three time steps, and you do this, and do this, and that. And everybody had been in vaudeville. Everybody knew what to do. And we put together uh, the evening. The, the evening for us was doing what we did. Because you didn't know how to do anything. We else. didn't know how to do. Any, we didn't know how to have any fun. We didn't know what. We didn't know how to play. And that's when I learned so much about child stars. I learned the whole nine yards.